of the tallest building in downtown Buffalo. It's the old HSBC Center. One Seneca Tower is what it's called now. It went on the auction block today. The tower sold uh, back to the bank that actually was holding a $91 million mortgage on the building. The bidding began at $5 million this afternoon. Then it quickly ended up with a final bid, a sale price of $28 million. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson is live at the tower tonight. She was at the auction this afternoon. It was a two-party bidding war, but in the end, the original owners of that property, LNR, taking back one Seneca Tower for $28 million. The auction did begin promptly at 3 p.m., and under the terms of sale, the bidding began at $5 million. And just jumping right into it, the current mortgage holder, LNR, was the first to bid, offering $6 million and volley build bids with investors from Riccio Real Estate and Development. Bidding, con bidding continued until LNR outbid, walking away with the property for 28 million for a building once valued at 100 million dollars. A, a court appointed referee says that LNR has 30 days to complete the entire purchase. Once the deed is filed, LNR is at liberty to do whatever they want with the property. I think there's been so much development in the Buffalo area, especially in this immediate area, that I think uh, whoever takes it forward has a lot to look forward to. Along with the parking ramp. Along with the parking ramp as well. That garage is considered a separate entity, although a date has not been set. We are being told the auction will take place in early spring. And the representatives from LNR told me they have no comment on the sale, but someone who was very vocal, the folks from Recchio Real Estate and Development, Rick Rico, says they are hoping to acquire that building from LNR in the near future. Reporting live from downtown Buffalo, Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.